Looking for a fancy recipe for chicken and tired of those chicken breasts? Well, this bacon rubbed drumsticks are a game changer. So let's begin. To prepare them, first we're going to take about one kilogram of your drumsticks and pull, cut them a little bit at the top and pull the skin and the meat down from the bone just to create the little bit of a stylish design to it, especially if you're making it for a special occasion. This would be a great way to prepare your chicken. Because I think we've all had our general drumsticks fried in the oven, so it's hard to surprise people with those. This gives a little bit of a trick. So once you've done that, you want to cover with foil the top tip of the bone and the drumstick just to make sure that they don't burn and they look a bit fancier. The next step will be to prepare our spices. So for spices, we are looking at uh, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of black pepper. We're also gonna add a little bit of oil in a separate bowl, and then we're gonna mix all of our spices. And you're welcome to use a spoon, uh, but by hand is just fine too. I mean, you guys are eating it, so it doesn't matter. So first, we're gonna dip our chicken into oil, and you can use any oil, olive oil or vegetable oil, and then you're gonna dip your uh, drumstick into all your spices. And you're gonna repeat the process for the rest of the drumsticks. And this will make sure your chicken is flavorful and is filled with different aromas when you take it out. It's gonna be really delicious. You're also welcome to take out the chicken skin. In fact, you probably want to do that if your chicken won't fall apart because it'll be uh, more crispier. So then we get to wrapping in bacon. Actually, I love this brand. Checked a bunch and this one doesn't have any, um, I think, preservatives or any of those other different names on the packaging. So it's great. But you're welcome to use any other type of bacon. So we're going to take our bacon and we're going to wrap each piece of drumstick into a piece of bacon. And depending how big your drumstick is or how uh, thick or thin your bacon is, you might need more than one slice, but I would say that one slice should be uh, enough. Because you don't want to wrap too much such that the bacon and the chicken wouldn't cook through really well. And you can see my husband just wrapping the piece, starting from the bottom where the meat is and slowly wrapping it around. And then he's gonna actually pinch uh, a piece of it uh, at the bottom. Oh, you can see I'm not sure what I was telling him because he did such a great job. I don't think I would have made them as beautiful as he did. And that's what we've done and there you go. And don't worry if it's, I mean obviously as long as it's not falling apart they'll be just fine when they cook. And then you're gonna repeat the process for all the other ones. So that's how sort of it's gonna look. And you can see they're all beautiful, lined up together. So for a kilo, you're getting about um, eight or nine drumsticks, I'd say. And then we're gonna put them in the oven at 220 Celsius for about 40 minutes. And once it's cooked up to 40 minutes, we're gonna take them out and then uh, we're gonna add some, uh, glaze it with a bit of uh, barbecue sauce and some honey. So while the chicken is cooking, let's prepare the sauce. And that's gonna add a bit of crunchiness and flavor on top and also a beautiful shine. So you could see my husband is using some barbecue sauce that we had at home. This one had a bit of um, hint of spiciness in it, but you're welcome to prepare any barbecue sauce that you like. In fact, you probably could dip it in any other sauce that you enjoy, but this is what we've chosen. So as I said, once you take out your chicken, you're going to dip it into the sauce and put it back into the oven for another probably 15 minutes or so uh, to, to crisp up a bit. And you might want to broil for about 3-4 minutes at the end the chicken just to add that extra crispiness and uh, shine if you like. So that's how it looks. It's delicious. It's absolutely festive, beautiful and delicious and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you follow us for more. Bye for now.